I have seen so many crafts done with these pumpkins where, as you've seen, they take fabric and stick them in between and decorate them in beautiful, great uh, pumpkin, fall, all kinds of different ideas, beads. But I thought there's gotta be something else that can be done with this other than making it into look like a pumpkin or a jack-o-lantern. So I started fooling around with it and I turned it this way and I pretended that the stem wasn't there. And all of a sudden I started seeing a mummy. So today, step by step, I don't know ahead of time what all's gonna happen. I've got it in my mind exactly what I wanna do. Now I have to see if it will work. So don't get your, a li your list out of supplies till the end of the video, but let's see what we can come up with. So I do want the background to be burlap, that I've decided. And I don't have the big piece of burlap in my house, but I did have some leftover burlap uh, when I did a backyard wedding at my house. And I had this burlap and it was from Walmart. And I started thinking like, well, just take some strips and hot glue them together. So I started already doing that so you could see. And I was gonna do them in strips. And then I thought, no, just crisscross them. The mummy's got crisscross stuff all over it. So I'm going to crisscross some strips of this, glue, hot glue it, and it will be enough to cover this. So this is what the burlap looks like, um, glued together, zigzagged, like I said. I didn't need a whole piece at the bottom because the uh, pumpkin is narrower at the bottom. And my plan is to put some hot glue along the edge here and twist this over and glue it down. I don't think I'm gonna make much of a border around the back or a, I guess a leftover hem from the burlap because you can see through this. So I don't want those pieces coming around like that. So I am gonna glue it and then I'm gonna cut it as tight as I can. But we also have this problem, the part of uh, this wire that makes it look like a pumpkin. So I'm gonna take wire clippers and I'm gonna cut that off and have a little bit of a plan for how we're going to hide that it's not on this, that it's dented in this side, but not on this side. I did think about bending it in, but I am afraid of this wire snapping. So I have another idea for how we can um, fudge this little corner thing. Okay, so I'm gonna share ahead of time because I'm not sure if I want you to cut that pumpkin stem off. Like I said, don't do anything till you go through my whole video to see what we're gonna do. I had originally thought I was gonna take a hand and put a hand coming up on the side where it was dented in. The only problem is, is this hand doesn't, I wish it just ended in a wrist right there and it doesn't, it goes all the way down here. But I was also going to put a spider on his head. Now I'm thinking, keep the stem there and that would give something to attach the spider so he looks like he's coming off the edge like that. So I'm not gonna take that off because I might be needing it. It's a day break and I'm starting to work back on this again. So what I've done is I've just pinned the edges around to prepare to start gluing on the inside. And I did say glue it to the wire, but I think it's gonna need to be glued around the wire and maybe just, I actually want to glue the burlap uh, to each other. That's gonna hold better. And then clip this extra real close to the edge. I've seen, um, some of the crafters that use clothespins and all, I could have done that, but for right now, the pins are holding it good. And I just wanna hold it tight enough so when I lift the pins and start gluing underneath it, that the other side is secure from me pulling. Before I wrap the gauze around, I'm gonna wrap this uh, black background that's going to be his eyes peeking out from. So it looks like it's really dark inside there. And many of the mummies that I see, they, uh, and this is gonna be very cartoony, so, uh, it, it's going to be uh, big eyes on this, but I needed a black background. Now, if you wanted to just put it right over the burlap, eh, that's fine, go ahead and do that. But for now, I've just wrapped a piece. It's about maybe four, four and a half inches. Um, and I'm going to wrap it and glue it right above this. And then I'm gonna add some eyes. We're gonna be doing this one stage at a time. I said I was gonna take that wired pumpkin and make it into something else, and I think it's happened. <laughs> so where we're at right now is, I did kind of twist and pull the gauze different ways. I just cut strips and I just glued them around the back. 
and I twisted them. Actually, in some areas, it kind of got, a few of the threads got pulled, and I, le I left them like that. I, I, think it looks, I think it looks fine. And I concentrated on trying to get the gauze around his eyes and, of course, around his mouth. So, oh, and then I, I don't know if I just showed you the back. Okay, I've glued it all in, and I have clipped off everything real nice and neat. My grandmother was a seamstress, and she used to always say, your outside should look as good as your inside. So I'm trying to make the back as nice as I'm making the front and just remembering what she told me. So now I'm getting ready to put the spider on the side. But as I'm trying to wire him, it seems like you're seeing this wire uh, one way or another. So just for the heck of it, I am going to wrap a little piece of... Um, of the uh, burlap around it, just so you just don't see the wire. And then I am going to wire him to this. And as you can see, if it goes as planned, we're going to have a mummy that's very scared of this spider crawling on the side of his head. But then I have one more last thought. I shouldn't have wrapped that just yet, but that's okay, because here's my last thought. Does this mummy need that extra piece put over him that they do when they do pumpkins. Does it make him look like he's looking through a wire fence or maybe some, uh, I don't know, some kind of cage of some sort? So if that's the case and you use this on top, then you would cover both of these pieces together. And I'm not sure, originally, I liked him like this. But when I take this off, you gotta be careful because it does stick to the gauze. I think he's cute like that too. So I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna take a minute and think about that. So I did decide to put the wire pumpkin back over the top because I do like that he's like looking through some kind of uh, jail or prison or fence or something and I put the spider on the side. I love the spider, but what I've decided is I don't like that color. It really needs to come out and be a black one. So I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna wire the black spider on and let you see what it looks like. And then you have a choice of both. So in finishing up the mummy, I added these two little pieces of felt to kind of make his eyes look like a little wrinkle in them. I had that beige uh, spider, which was, just too light so I put the black one on it and I really like him the other thing that happened is when I went to put the uh, other pumpkin wire on top of that I what happened was I just used just a tiny piece of wire there and just over here I just randomly put a, some wires and then I wired this spider on here and here and I don't think at this point I've left anything out. I know that I've done a really botched job on this video, but it was fun and it was quick. It was a little uh, mishmash, but at least it's done. And I hope you like it. Please give me a thumbs up. And if you want, you can subscribe.